it's, it's big here today and we're gonna be doing another unboxing one that you guys have been waiting for we're gonna be unboxing first Storm Pegasus from the Metal Fusion Saga from Hasbro I got both of them directly from China for 120 um, in total this is awesome however it might have some gems it might have to mold especially the storm aquario the wheel it's like really white so i'm gonna have to clean that like clean the heck out of it including this one possibly but yeah we're gonna be unboxing storm packages and it's probably a hazard so we're gonna be wearing a mask hey guys it's bicky and we're gonna be starting the unboxing for storm Pegasus. So basically what we're gonna do is I have paper under it just in case. Um, we're gonna be unboxing the entire box and then doing a time lapse of me cleaning the wheel especially. A little bit of the tip and everything else with just a little bit of water before we apply stickers. But yeah, we're gonna unbox it but first let's inspect the box itself and check it out. So this is from Hathbone. I got this from Soda. I'm gonna like just zoom in a little bit. Not sure if you can get that in shot, but yeah, just how it looks like. Alright, let's start opening the box and see the booty that's inside. So everybody was like, you know what? Just be careful. You know. Wow. All right, we got the uh, package open. First thing I see is the stickers and the paper, which is pretty yellow. Oh, the stickers are in good condition as well. That's pretty good. Alright. Pretty nice, they got a pretty good condition, no yellowing, which is a good sign. So yellowing is caused by the sun, normally. I can tell by the instruction manual, it's a little like... The color is a little bit off, a little dull, pretty old. Alright. So let's take out the packaging for the bay itself. So, I can see right off the bat, the plastic is definitely yellowing, as you can see right at the bottom here. Yeah, it's a little bit yellow, so we're gonna take this out. And here is the red launcher itself. Put this on the side. All the parts on the side. So yeah, the only thing I would be concerned about is just the box itself. I might not even keep it because this thing is yellowing like crazy. Um, and I did not need. I didn't even know that Metal Fusion Facebook came like that. This is crazy. Holy shit, that's insane. I'm not sure how to take it out, but oh, there's a little uh, slip over here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I think it's out. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm back. I'm so sorry, that took like literally two minutes to take out the goddamn Facebook. I've never, I don't think I've ever had like metal, uh, metal feeds and boxes like this. I mean, I did, but they were like completely different, not like the first gen, you know. And get out of the pan in there. Alright, but here's sticker and stuff like that. Not the sticker, the paper thing with the code. But yeah, we finally got everything out of the way. God damn it, let's just move everything out and start seeing each part. I'm going to dispose of this. Even though I want to keep the box, I can't. So we got all the parts here. We're going to inspect the metal face first. So. Metal Fate is pretty much a blue. Has no stick on it, we're gonna have to apply it. But yeah, plastic looks good. Nothing bad. 
up next is the energy wing energy wing it's a very nice blue really really like it super clean and the metal wheel which is storm seems to be in great condition but we will polish it tonight make it look new you know disinfect everything and then the truck uh, I believe this is 100 is it God damn it. No, it's not. My bad. It's 105. But yeah, that's beside the point. 105. Truck. And then, last but not least, the rubber face. Which is in really good condition, obviously, since it's new. Looks really nice. Clean. Alright, so before we put everything together, we are going to be cleaning things over here. We're gonna be cleaning the plastic parts, just some water and soap. Uh, as for the metal plates, we're just gonna disinfect it with metal polish right over here. We're gonna use white diamond metal polish and clean this right after. So let's just dump everything in there. Alrighty then, so while that sort of like gets into the water, we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. Move it down the side. So now we're gonna uh, metal polish this wheel just to make sure it's clean. I'm gonna be cleaning it with soap and water right after I metal, uh, metal polish it. That way we can make sure it's all clean and shiny. But first we're gonna dab just a little bit of metal polish into this microfiber cloth. Put it all over, let it set for five minutes, I'll come back and then we'll clean it off in that little uh, part of water. Alright, we're gonna let it sit for a bit, and then we're gonna rinse it off with the thing. All you have to do is just rinse it off with the microfiber cloth after a while, and then we're gonna do another uh, run of the metal powers at the corner, at least. So, pretty excited about that, so we're gonna give it a bit more. Look at that, Bl holy shit, that's a lot. Oh man.
I think we did a fantastic job with that thing. Alrighty then. So let's move everything on the side. And basically just start working at things. So this is the metal wheel with storm all clean and polished. It looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So it's pretty much dry. We'll go check out the other one. Hey guys, we're back. I unfortunately made a huge mistake with the face bolt. It is all smudged because I used um, no polish to basically clean the thicker residue. And it took off. Um, hold on, can I even like. It took off the thicker because I used way too much no polish. So definitely a mistake that I'm learning from. But either way, we might replace it with this one. But that's a huge might because it is a tad bit darker. But maybe. I mean, they don't kind of match, but maybe. Um, but we're going to put a sticker over this. I mean, nobody's going to tell anyway, so... My mistake, if you're trying to clean out sticker vetri, only use a really small amount with a Q-tip, please. Just a really small amount, that's it. You don't want to, like, keep rubbing it, because it's going to take off the paint. But yeah, this is the face bolt. It's like a light blue. And then next, we have the energy ring, which is a really, really nice, uh, DM blue, sort of. And it's all clean and nice and tweaky and nice. Pretty bug. And then the last third thing we have is the metal wheel. Which I have polished all the way. And it looks really nice and tweaky clean. And I made sure that it is good. Looks pretty nice. Then we got the 105 track. Then last but not least. We're both flat. Alright, without further ado, let's put them all together. Oh boy, that is weird. Oh, okay. Got that in the way. Alright, that is pretty much how it looks. Very gorgeous. It's so much more beautiful in person. So shiny and so it's really clean. Alright, I'm gonna put the sticker down and I promise it's gonna look 100% better after. Alright. And last but not least, here it is. Dawn packages and all it glory. This is one heck of a beautiful bay. I ended up not putting the red stickers because they were way too fucking small. I don't, don't want to make that. But look how nice that looks. Storm Pegasus, guys. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing and seeing me clean Storm Pegasus. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Tune in for the Storm Aquarium because that one is going to have some extra cleaning to do. It probably actually has mold or germs on it. So tune in for that next unboxing. And eventually, I will be doing battle for the storm packages and storm aquarium not these but i will i do have extra ones coming in but yeah tune in for that i'm so stoked for that and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video